Hey everyone, it's Dave Bartley RC, aka Darkside 3D, uh, back to you with another video. It's been a while, so I uh, figured I'd put one out. I've been uh, asked by quite a few people to uh, make a quick video tutorial on how to update the firmware on the speed controller, Hobbywing speed controller, and the uh, LCD program box. So forgive me if this runs a little long, because I'm usually long winded, but I'm going to try to get through it as quick as possible three items you're going to need, four technically is what you're going to need uh, to do these. Uh, you're going to need obviously the program box, the speed controller, power source, and a computer. Computer uh, give you the web address for the uh, software and firmware updates uh, down below. Uh, you can just click on that to uh, go directly to it. Notice this is not connected to a helicopter or a motor and it doesn't have to be in order to update or to even do the settings. Um, you just want to make sure you don't have any contact with the motor bullets. Uh, don't let them contact each other either. You know, put some sort of protection around them so they don't, uh, so there's no chance of them touching, uh, especially while you have the uh, battery packs plugged in because it could fry the ESC in a blink of an eye. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to go to the uh, web page with all the firmware. Updates that is www.hobbywingdirect.com slash pages slash downloads. And I'm going to grab my camera and show you what the page looks like. Looks like this. Excuse the light in the back. Uh, this is the top one is going to have your USB link software, which that is 3.52.07 current version. Uh, you can download that directly. The ones above there are for the um, ESC software and you'll download those all as well and those will load into the USB link software one thing I need to let you know is each time you do each time there's an update for the software you have to uninstall the current one and reinstall the brand new version so what we're going to do first is we're going to I'm going to show you how to um, update the program box. So you're going to take the program box to a mini USB cable plugged into your computer. It's going to plug in and it's going to say connecting PC. If it says connecting ESC, that's not a problem. It's, it's fine. Then you're going to bring up the USB link software after you've downloaded it, which should look like this. And at the top left you should see version 3.52.07 so you see at the bottom where it says ESC speed controller disconnected or I'm sorry not, uh, the, the status light is dull and that's because we don't have that connected so you're going to go to the top click device go to the program box and now you see the program box is highlighted uh, the current firmware version is 3.2.22 and that is the most available version so there's no need to click upgrade but that's what you would do if your current firmware version is older than the most available version so I'm going to set the camera back down and show you how to connect the uh, speed controller okay so now what I'm gonna do is unplug that. I'm going to plug in, that was my dog, that was not me. I'm going to plug in the jumper cable into the ESC port on the program box and then the other end is going to go into the speed controller on its side. Making sure your polarities are correct even though the box is polarity protected. Um, now I'm going to plug in my battery power source keeping an eye on my bullets while I'm doing it to make me to make sure they're not going to touch once I plug it in program box will come on and I'll verify the version by pressing enter it'll connect to the ESC and you can see it's version 4.00.1 and it's going and this is how you can do the settings too you can get this out of the way if you want to you set your BEC voltage uh, your flight mode, your throttle, or your uh, voltage protection, and so forth. So now I'm going to connect my USB cable back in with my computer. And again, it says connecting PC, not a problem. And we're going to go back to 
to the screen. And now I'm going to go back up to devices once again. Select speed controller. You see the progress bar. It's checking everything right now. Uh, and this is also how you can program everything if you don't, uh, or you can verify whatever you have as far as programming. So that's the uh, flight mode, auto calculation sales, soft cutoff, voltage cutoff, VEC voltage, startup time. So if we want to go to firmware, we're going to go to the far left and select firmware. There's no need to update it. It's version the current version is the same as the new version. Uh, if it wasn't, again, you would select upgrade. It might take a couple minutes, uh, but you get the same progress bar. Uh, so we're going to skip past that and just go to the programming. If you want to select and tweak anything here, the timing, PWM frequency, brake, motor rotation, so forth. Uh, and it's same, similar with the other um, programmable speed controllers via the computer. When you're done with your settings, you're going to click apply and it's going to send those directly into the speed controller. So I'll set this back down and once you're all finished, just disconnect the computer cable, disconnect the program box, and disconnect the power. And that's it. Now everything's up to date and you're ready to mount that or go fly. If you have any questions, feel free to message me uh, other than that. Happy flying. Thanks for watching.